This is uh, fundamental. This is why I love mystery shopping so much. It's when we pretend to be a customer and we walk into one of our own stores to buy a product and see what happens. Uh, mega chains is another big trend. I'm going to show many trends very quickly. In many EU nations, including my country, the UK, 70% of all retail spending is in seven or eight companies only. And that is likely to happen here. It's only a matter of time. I would say 60 to 70% of all spending will be in six or seven key chains. The big question is, which ones? And at the same time, we can expect, therefore, very rapid consolidation of retail outlets in Bulgaria, as, uh, as we find big chains wiping out smaller ones. And connected with this, uh, the development of more huge malls. Yes, even more. We can expect very rapid growth of malls for several reasons. I'm not now talking about malls only for super wealthy, but I'm talking about uh, shopping experiences uh, for mid-range consumers, and a bit lower than that as well. At the moment, we have these uh, very luxurious shopping malls that are being created, and they look like uh, what you see in the airport with many international brands. And you may have a question about how many more malls can be built in Sofia and still make money. I would say many more for a reason. If we look at the growth of malls in uh, Bulgaria, we can see how much happened in 2010. The pink is new. And then, of course, the uh, things stopped, and then we started again. Uh, but if we look at the shopping center stock per city, we see Sofia right at the top. But if we look at the number of square meters of mile per thousand residents, then Sofia is right down here. There are other places where they are already far ahead. And this tells me that there is plenty of room for growth here and that we have really only just started. And it will put pressure on many of the traditional retailers as has happened across the rest of the world. And we are seeing a, a complete uh, reshaping of the traditional shopping streets, many of which uh, in some countries are now becoming residential because people prefer to go to where the big experience is and then it's very difficult for the small retailer to cope unless they also move into a shopping center or close to a shopping center. Now part of the shopping center experience is a focus on leisure, a destination and it's about uh, feeling, seeing, touching. Uh, it's sometimes about, uh, not just in a shopping center, it's about a pedestrianized street where people perform, they do acrobatics. Uh, it's exciting, it's fun. We go for the life, we go to see things happen, and uh, we watch other people, uh, and we observe their life, we engage. Uh, we take children with us and uh, we expect them to have an adventure as well as come back with clothes or food. And in the middle of this growth of huge, a huge growth of a small number of super companies, we will also continue to see growth of uh, what I call niche traders, small, specialist, focused, individual, character, knowledge, highly personal, and these kinds of stores are doing well in every city across Europe and will continue to do well here.